Hello, I'm Galina from Anlay Office, and we have very important changes in our product line. I would like to share with you the news we have already released on our website under onlyoffice.com. We had two huge releases. The version 6 was released for our document server and the version 11 for our collaboration platform. After that, we decided to finally get rid on the long heavy names for our products and simplify them. So the document server was renamed to Docs. The community server together with the control panel were renamed to Groups just because the central idea of the collaboration platform is to enhance the work between people due to document sharing, project management, CRM, calendar, etc. We have changed the name of mail server to just mail and talk was chosen as a name for our XMPP server. And the entire environment for work, including uh, docs, groups, mail and talk, were renamed to Workspace. We really hope that new names will help you to easier find the wanted option. Besides, we have changed our licensing and our groups are available starting with the version 11 under Apache license. That makes it easier for our service providers to extend the functionality of our software to add some billing services, helpful features, etc., and offer it to the end users without any limitations. As for Docs, it's still available under dual licensing policy and you can use HPL version 3 version on our GitHub or choose the commercial version on our website. The same works for the workspace and you can choose between the bundle of open source software and the commercial version with professional features and support included. That helps us to get a very clear new structure on our website. We have only two products. These are Docs and Workspace. And for every product, we have several editions which you can choose based on your tasks and preferences. You can use Community Edition if you are a small team and need just the open source version without any support from our side. Uh, you can use the Enterprise Edition for your big organization with the uh, professional features and support included. Uh, or you can use the Developer Edition of our docs if you have a commercial project and want to extend the features available with the online document editing. The same works for Workspace. We have the Open Source Community Edition and the Commercial Enterprise Edition for enterprises. Uh, if we look on our website, we can see that Enterprise Edition was changed to Workspace Enterprise Edition, Integration Edition is renamed to Docs Enterprise Edition, and the Developer Edition is from now Docs Developer Edition. Let's check every edition separately to see what's new we have for every solution. Docs Developer Edition was almost not affected by the last changes, and now it's just got a new prefix. So it's now Docs Developer Edition. It's still a license limited by one year. Uh, it's available in two options like Developer Server and Production Server, and uh, only basic level of support is included into this license. As for the Enterprise Edition, it's a lifetime license as it was before. We include one year of support and updates in every license and it's available with the basic level of our support. We have changed not only the name of the software but also the pricing. You can check the new pricing options on our website. So what's new for the Enterprise Edition? New name and new pricing. The most interesting thing here is the workspace, just because it's a little bit new for us. And here we have still the lifetime license, one year of support and updates included, but from this version, we decided to license the software based not only on the number of concurrent connections, but on the number of named users. Uh, besides, we have offered branding options for higher levels of support. Now you can choose what level of support you need for your workspace. So in short, we have released a new option for our service providers, 
We have new names and new licenses for our software to create very clear structure for our project. And from now, we have two different options for licensing based on the number of concurrent connections or the number of named users. So I suppose that's all for today. Thank you for the attention.